Okay, I've decided to utilise this space to the left of the hen house, which was completed a month or so ago. Um, this space seemed to be a bit wasted, so I'm, I'm turning it into two um, pens of some description. There's going to be one master door on the front, um, and um, I'm going to put a wire floor here uh, of a gauge that will be okay to put rabbits in. It'll be this kind of gauge, but this is the, not the right kind of wire because it's, it will damage the feet. It needs to be much thicker wire, so I haven't worked out how I'm going to do that yet. I haven't found any. But um, So that'll be a wire floor and there'll be a, some sort of uh, hideaway snug inside. Up there I might put a solid floor uh, with a view to put in a couple of bantams. haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I thought I'd just turn it into a couple of cages and we'll, uh, we'll see what animals we come across. Okay, more on this uh, new cage that I'm building. So two tiers, as I mentioned before. Bottom tier is going to have wire mesh, and I've only managed to find this stiff wire that's remotely suitable is kind of half inch squares, which I think will be all right. They recommend one inch by half inch. Uh, so half inch squares should be good. Um, to minimize the amount of wood that's in contact with, uh, with uh, the animals and, and, and the urine and everything for the animals, I've gone for I've, I've fabricated a couple of brackets and I have this piece of steel pipe so that's going to go across the middle to support the wire and hopefully that'll um, that'll be all that's needed. If necessary I'll have to put another couple of pipes in but that's I only had the one pipe uh, already available. Makes seems to make sense. All I've done is wire it in. As you can see I've just wired it into the bracket, the um, manufactured uh, bracket that I've just made. Uh, so that should be do a reasonable job. Uh, for the upper floor, this will have a wooden floor, and um, I'll probably put lino over the top of that wooden floor if it's going to be birds in there. If it's going to be rabbits in there, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'm toying with making this a two-tier single cage and have a ladder between the bottom layer and the top layer. Haven't decided yet. Uh, and of course, there's going to need to be some kind of snug in there for animals to get out of the elements. Um, some kind of box of some sort. I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to put a roof on or not. I may not need to if, if the sleeping quarters inside the runs, inside the um, uh, inside here are are good enough, then I won't need to have um, a roof overall and keeps better air circulation for the hot weather. Um, probably need a bit of a roof though, because if this level, if this layer is going to be have a wooden floor, then of course rain will collect on there on the, during the winter. So. Um, Maybe just go for a tarpaulin over the top of the wire on the roof um, and uh, see if that's good enough. Here's the gate for the, um, the double, double height um, hutch that I'm making. The bar, this bar here, in, is the same level as the floor for the upper area. Uh, deliberately done that way to minimise the, uh, to make it better visually. I put the wire on the inside to make sure that uh, if I do put rabbits in there that they're not gnawing on the wood. Uh, I give them a bit of a stain but there's no um, stain, no wood accessible to animals inside so that should be safe enough. Gone for the same kind of spring-loaded latch that I've got on the uh, on the chicken run and a couple of hinges. I've put this bar down here with a view to possibly putting a hatch in there to put food in and out rather than having to open the whole door. Um, I've left that as an option. I, I'm not going to do that straight away, I don't think. The uh, half inch uh, mesh that I've got for the floor is a bit thicker than the norm, so it should be good on the on the po animal's paws. Um, it's it's going to be pretty difficult to cut because I don't have any proper wire cutters. We'll see how I get on with that using the, uh, perhaps using the pliers. We'll see how I get on. So I bought a one meter by one meter piece of this uh, thick gauge uh, wire mesh for flooring and uh, the gap I have is one meter by 97 centimeters so I've got to take off this little bit on the end here um, and actually the gap this is actually not one meter wide it's actually one meter plus one and a half centimeters and the gap I have is almost exactly that. I hope it will fit without snagging the door because it'll be very frustrating if I've just got to take off um, one 
square will be a bit of a pain. Fingers crossed on that. I'm managing to do it with these uh, wire snips. They're not really man enough for the job, but um, it's all I've got and it just, just manages to get through this gauge of wire. So I'm trying to get it as close as I can with these wire snips because of course this is a nasty edge to leave. Uh, and I'm gonna have to make sure it's really well pinned down so that the last thing you need is a snag that's gonna catch on animals, pelts or whatever. That uh, could be pretty nasty, but I can't get any closer than that with these snips. I don't have a grinder, so we'll have to hope for the best that I can pin it down flat enough so that it doesn't lift off on the edges. Well, turned out reasonably well, I think. So the one meter wide wire, which turned out to be 1.1, comes exactly to where I wanted it to come, because this, this gap here is where the frame for the door will go. And so I don't want the wire to be uh, pushed into there. And it's 97 wide. I managed to tuck most of it under the um, under this under the wooden edge of the, uh, where the which this is the hen house here. I managed to tuck most of it under there. There are some jagged edges, but I'll staple those down if I can. And it more or less fits. I've had to just slightly tuck it up at the edge there, um, but surprising. Surprisingly good. Very stiff this wire, so even even some of in some places the nails are not managing to hold it down. They're actually lifting back out again. Um, but this is going to be a good walking surface for animals, and uh, hopefully the droppings will fall through, which is the whole point of it. Okay, so this is the door on, and um, more or less finished now. So that's the door, and with all the latches fitted. Uh, and I haven't done the floor there yet. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do there. That's probably going to be a solid floor. We've got the wire floor there for the bottom part. So suitable for pretty much any animal, probably not guinea pigs, but suitable for rabbits or chickens. Or, um, and I'm thinking bantams initially in there. Uh, and not sure up here. If I put a solid floor, then any animal can be in there.